Dozens of Duke graduates and students walk out on Jerry Seinfeld during the graduation. That's great. Look at that. Jerry Seinfeld pretty much done nothing, but uh, he is definitely part of the demographic where they like to place their own in very prominent, powerful places, right? Oh, you're a Jay. I'll make you an investment banker. Oh, you're a Jay. You get to be an actor. Oh, you're a Jay. We'll we'll name you Lex Friedman, and you get to you get to interview all the Jays, all the Zs, everyone who supports Israel. You get to interview all of them. But anyone who doesn't support Israel, you never interview them. You got that? You you Lex Friedman and Tim Pool. You're not allowed to interview anti-Zionists at all ever for any reason. You hear Tim Pool's crying because people are giving him crap for not interviewing N. Fuentes. Yeah, T Tim was like, oh, he's on the show. And he's like, we would need like $100,000 worth of security. <laughs> yeah, because N. Fuentes is a warlord, right? He's going to come in there with his red aura floating, probably with his hands out like this. Oh, right. Floating in and they got to have armed guards to protect him and his beanie from this, this satanic floating guy named N. Fuentes, of course. Hundred thousand dollars for security. Just be honest, Tim. We would respect you more if you would just say, "Yeah, Cassandra McDonald, formerly Cassandra Fairbanks, my editor in chief, is a Zionist handler. She's my handler. Okay, she's not gonna let me interview Nick Fuentes ever, ever, ever. Okay. So, but meanwhile, America needs a civil war, right? Yeah. Okay, Tim. Okay, Tim, a bill, that's sad, a billionaire who has to hide out in his bunker in the middle of nowhere for the rest of his life because he's too cowardice to stand up for America and America first values. Huh? Hey, Tim A, how come you can't get a decent chick? How come the best you can do is that squirrely looking, goblin looking freaking J lady? <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm worth a billion dollars, but I can't, I can't, even, can't even spend it, guys. Holy crap. But anyways, you guys have probably already heard about this. Yeah, Jerry Seinfeld got walked out on because he's part of the he's part of the, the demographic that's installed by Israel. Okay? He probably has got a lot of videos of him with kids because they don't let you be in powerful places unless they have blackmail on you. Okay? Anybody up there, okay, is compromised. Okay? Now, now you guys understand why they did not want DTS president, why the media left and right crapped on him for eight years now, it's because they don't have blackmail on him. Now, yeah. I'm not saying he's a clean guy. I'm not saying he did everything on the up and up like he's a completely ethical guy. I know about um, the construction companies he kind of screwed in New York, you know, but uh, there's no blackmail on him. So that's why they crap on him. That's why he gets to not start wars as president, right? Meanwhile, all the others are required to start wars. Huh? Uh, but yeah, so, um, my poor, <laughs> sucks to be Seinfeld. Uh, poor guy. Jeez, look at this. Look at this writing. All by Jim Hoff, huh? Okay. Yeah. So the Duke leftists don't care. Uh, dozens, if not hundreds of students stood up and walked out before. Seinfeld could begin the speech. It's funny how outraged you are about this, uh, Jim Hoft. But when people walk out against a uh, non-Zionist leftist, you're like, oh, brave students, strong, courageous. Ha -ta -ta -ta, right? 